Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, has begun moves to take a shot at the 2023 presidency, Sahara Reporters has learned. Malami's bid, it was further gathered while rallying heavily on funds in the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission under the care of the new chairmanship. Sahara Reporters learned that Malami, who has the new E. FCC chairman, 40 years old, Bauer, in his pocket, has shaved his earlier ambition of contesting the KB state governorship election and is rather hiding the presidency. It was gathered that Malami would use his influence in the presidency to attempt to change the permutations in the all progressive Congress or rather look for another party as cover to pursue his ambition. The AGF has upgraded to presidential campaign. He has abandoned the KB state governorship ambition. He said he is too big to contest for governor, having made so much money under the Buhari administration. He has been a minister for eight years and now he is in charge of the EFCC after putting Bauer, his boy, there. He was desperate to take over the anti graft agency so that he could make more money and determine candidates for the 2023 elections he saw close to Malami said. Malami was instrumental in the sacking of the former acting EFCC chairman, Ibrahim Mogu, from office after having years of discord with Mogu. As part of his grand plot to achieve his 2023 ambition, the AGF had also fought to ensure that President Mohamed Buhari appointed Bawa, despite detained, uh, detailed investigations indicting the 40 years old of fraudulent hat. Sahara reporters had two weeks ago reported that a 13-page investigation report by the EFCC which indicted Bauer, who was, who was then the Port High Court zona head, was forwarded to President Muhammad Buhari in 2019, but the president failed to read or act upon it. The report titled Investigation Report re alleged case of conspiracy, abuse of office, and criminal diversion of federal government properties, in which the suspect was uh, Adu Rashid Bawa. The detained how Bawa was recommended for disciplinary actions. It had been exposed that the report was forwarded to the president's office, but the AGF influenced how it was dumped and not acted upon by Pre Mr. President, President Muhammad Buhari. Only last Thursday, the chairman of the presidential advisory committee against corruption prof itosa sage had warned that he was not comfortable with the fact that malami and the new efcc chairman bawa shared the same state of origin he had expressed fears about the influence malami would have on bawa which may impair the activities of the commission i noticed that they both come from the same state of KB and they may even be related. For me, that is not a very healthy thing because the chairman of the EFCC and the EFCC are supposed to be independent. They are not politicians. They are trained security officers. The Attorney General is a politician who has all the weak, uh, weakness and laws of a politician he has people he is obligated to, and all that Saga uh, Sage had said. <laughs> Wahala. Someone said there yeah, may be Malami wanted to become president of Arua Republic with EFCC funds. 2023 election is not possible in, in this country, and the worst will happen if he tries it. <laughs> you are just saying your own. What of by tomorrow now they said he's the one to be the president you have nothing to do 
that is how you rose. These people, they have their way and all that. You get it. Okay, someone said yeah, he's the president now. Now, re-election, he wants. He calls the shots in the present administration. He's the main man. Okay. Someone said here, yeah, you have been a president of Fulani yes, men, but not president of Federal Republic of Nigeria. You can only lead and govern in animal's kingdom, but not humanitarian organization. These are Nigerians reacting. Malami got not such ambition because he cannot try it. If you try it, wahala good day here. Okay, someone said they are all the best for him. No wonder recovering loot can't can't be uh, counted for we we know why. Okay, someone said then uh, <coughs> uh, let him take sovereign nation front in addition, he won't win, cannot talk less of South, even hope Uzadima cannot deliver him more. Okay, someone said that yeah, this man is, is the man behind President Muhammad Buhari giving order as a president in charge. Okay, these are Nigerians reacting. Someone said that yeah, he can't win no in KB State. Talk less of other states. Where are the candidates from the South? Is only on Omo, Omo Yile, a Yoruba that we vote for. In Notana, in 2023, we need change. Okay, someone said there, yeah, nothing stopped him from wasting his money to contest for presidential election. Malami only wants to be the next governor of KB State, not president, okay? Okay, someone said there, yeah, when Igbo wants to serve this country in 2015 by not voting this government, they were called uh, willing wellers. Now everybody is willing. Okay, someone said, yeah, where is Buhari? Nigerian cannot ask questions. Is Buhari still alive? That is what we don't know. So, hello, guys. <laughs> Let's hear from you. What's your view on this? Leave your opinion below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you very much. God bless you. Bye. -bye.